everyone is doing great in this video tutorial we are going to see how to download basin and river shape file from hydrosheets website hydrosheets now hit the button search hydrosheets i'll be sharing the link in the description please do check it out now go to the option products here for downloading basins click on hydro basins so hydro shed basins are being given in a vectorized polygon so here various uh, level of uh, sub basins is being given from a hierarchy from the large to small basins so hydro basins are being extracted from the gridded hydro sheds core layers which is around a 15 arc second resolution so here you can find how the basins is being divided into sub basins so if you go to hydro basins divides a basin into two sub basins at every location where two river branches meet which each have an individual upstream area of at least 100 square kilometers so this is how the basins is being divided so if you can have a just look at this image let me open in a new tab you can see here how the basins is being di uh, divided for example if you take this as an example this is a basin of a river and uh, you can see some streams is coming up and joining this river so each of this uh, so each of these streams is uh, taken as a sub basin that you can see at the top you can see for each uh, streams upstreams it is being taken as a sub basin so likewise you can get some information about this so now let us go back and have a look at the data downloading part so just come down and you can see data downloads for each of the continent the data has been given so I am interested in downloading Asia so click on download you can see here the download has been started so we have successfully downloaded the basin file as you can see here hybas refers to basin now let us download the rivers also hydro rivers click on hydro rivers come down so here you can download it as a geo database or shape file so i'm going to download it as a shape file for asia so click on download for a uh, each continent it has been given each continent and sub so it is going to be completed reverse yeah we have downloaded it successfully if you want to download the lakes you can also download the lakes file click on hydro lakes and you could download the lake polygon as you can see here it is in geo database as well as in share file format you can click and download it so now let us have a look at this data in a uh, GIS environment so before that let us extract our file once the extraction has been completed we can import the data to GIS environment so extraction has been completed now go to the option layers and add layer here select vector layer and choose the folder where you have kept the file downloaded data so now let me browse in and you can see here that hybas level 1 you can see this is nothing but the basins file let me click all of this file so before that we need to choose the file format over here so we are dealing with shape file so please select esri shape file after that select the files click open and finally add and now let us add the reverse shape file once again click on this option ESRI shape file over here select it open add it so now, now we have added the basin and the reverse shape file 
which we have downloaded from the HydroShits website. Let us quick, quickly add the base map. And let me drag this file to the top or let me bring it the layer top. Let us quickly see how this uh, basins file look like. So first let me remove the hydro reverse and you can see uh, various levels of uh, basins has been available. You can see the transition of this basin. This is for the whole Asia as a basin. So various levels of basins can be easily seen. So you need to choose the appropriate one. So level 4 seems to be good for me. So let me right click on it and go to the option properties. And let us uh, hollow the color. Fill color okay now you can see you can have a good look at the reverse so I am interested in this river if you want to have a much more clear uh, view you can uh, choose some more base maps for example Google satellite hybrid So let me increase the thickness of the boundary. So now you can have a good look at the boundary. Now I am interested in this river. If you zoom in, so base maps is really useful to identify uh, locations. If you zoom in deeply, you can find out the river name. You can confirm it or if you already have a shape file you can directly use it also so for me this basin is better so I'm going to select it using the selection tool so after selecting it you can right click and export it export export select feature as format as a shape file you can save it to any particular location so I'm going to save it as a basin study area I'm going to rename it so after renaming it as basin study area save it click OK the file will be exported like this so now you can see I have got my basin uh, boundary file over here like this you can do if you want to get some more uh, basins within this uh, bigger basin if you if you need a uh, sub basins within this uh, basins you can generate it means you can get it you can you have to go to the next level basin 5 so yeah I think now it will be clear so previously you have used the basin 4 file to pick out the interested basin after that if you much you need uh, some more sub basin within your basins you can go for further uh, levels for example 5 6 7 like this you can see how it is so if you want uh, to have it uh, much more smaller catchments you can go for the uh, other levels like uh, like 7 8 9 like this you can go in this case i'm going to once again choose the uh, level 5 so I'm going to select these features using the selection tool from here now you can right click on it and use the option export ok save selected features this is the sub basin you can choose accordingly based on your study area so now let me remove let me remove the other layers okay so let me remove this layer now we 
you can see how it is let me hold the shape file properties apply ok same process click apply and ok so we have got the, both the basin and sub basin boundary you can see it clearly now let us add the river file to our map and you can see the river file is being loading up loaded let us clip it using our basin shape file so let me remove the uh, unselect the sub basin file now go to the option vectors and you can find the geo processing tool select clip so the input layer will be reverse and the overlay is the basin features so it will be clipped the input layer is river it will be clipped using the basin file now let me save it to a particular location so rename it as river and save it now click on run so now we have successfully clipped our river shape file let me remove the hydro rivers and you can find the river boundary you can change the colors by right clicking properties and you can change the colors you can choose the colors okay apply okay now you can see how it is if i turn on the uh, sub basin boundary of this region it will be looking much more clear you can have a good look out at this output so you can see here we have downloaded the uh, lake shape file so you can extract the file here you can see here let us quickly view uh, uh, view the lake in QJS. so layers add layer add vector layer from here choose the file lakes click open add it you can see the lakes so like this you can download uh, basin rivers and lakes file in uh, and view it in QGIS if you have any other doubts on this you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching please do subscribe to the channel goodbye